Get out of there, would you? Angelo! Mickey, come on! Get your hand, would you? You've got it there! Ready? One, two, three! Go! Messing about, Geronimo! Geronimo? <laughs> Space gerbils, eh? Oh, who'd have them? <gasps> yes, Jim Devine, perfect! Hey, boy! Hello, Jim? Oh, hi, it's Katie, Katie Andrews. You remember, Puss in Boots at Clacton? I was the dancing milkmaid with the magic clogs. <laughs> That's right! Oh, so, how you doing? Did your toenails ever grow back? <laughs> oh, so you're a big TV star now. Mm. No, he does. Quick, shut that door. Well, don't be so modest, Jim. I think you're doing wonders as a pig farmer in Bramblebury Farm. <laughs> You haven't seen a little pink flying furball, have you? Ah, oh, you have. Well, what's that thing? <laughs> there he is! Ah! <laughs> gotcha! <clears throat> he doesn't like noise and upset. Well, that makes two of us. What's a big idea? Pet day at school tomorrow. Mickey's taking Geronimo. Yeah, well, it looks to me as if Geronimo's taking his Mickey. <laughs> oh. Hello, Jim! You still there? Congratulations, you've drowned him! Oh. Come on, Geronimo! Oh, what's wrong with him? Oh, he's just a bit shy, that's all. Who's a handsome little cute vest? <laughs> Who's got the woolliest fur and the whitest teeth in all <laughs> of Gerbildom? Come out of there, you little varmint! <laughs> oh, he's not there. He must be. Hang on a minute. Oh, drat! Oh, Mickey, this is that boot I use for the charity hopping. So where is he? Fear not, ma'am. This is a job for Angelo Ventura. Pet detective! <laughs> what are you doing? Well, isn't it obvious? I'm chucking flour on the floor. Yes, but why? <laughs> the flour on the floor is for finding and following the footprints, ma'am. <laughs> Jim De Niro, eat your heart out. Jim Carey was Ace Ventura. No, 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 Jim Carey was the man in the iron mask. That was Leo DiCaprio. No, 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 Leo DiCaprio is a hot milky drink sprinkled with chocolate. <laughs> The thing is, Jim, we're looking for someone famous to come and open up a supermarket. Jim Carrey's the tall guy with the rubber face. Will you do it? No, 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 no. The rubber face belonged to Howard the Duck. You will? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, thanks, Jim. I'll get the office to fax you over the details right away. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Oh. Angelo, now what are you doing? Give. Oh, all right then. Oh, you're getting on my nerves. Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. Who's who in show business? I'll show you, Jim Carrey. <laughs> ha ha! There he goes! Stop that rodent! Mr. Bamber! Just passing, thought I'd pop in, see how you're getting on with. Someone's got a real dandruff problem around here. <laughs> Go on through, I'll put the kettle on. So, any luck on this supermarket thing? I think I may have cracked it. Take a look at the book. Oh, setting our sights a little bit high, aren't we? What do you mean? I don't think we stand much chance of getting a world-famous megastar to come and open a crummy supermarket in Dolly's Hill. Megastar? I'd hardly call Jim a megastar. Are you kidding? Oh, forget it, Katie. We'll never get him. He's way out of our league. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong, Mr Bamber. As it happens, I've already got him. Oh, sure, sure. My mother's an ostrich. No, really. I have. No, that's impossible. <laughs> Jim and me are old friends. You're kidding me. Oh, we go back a zillion years. Met in pantomime when I was an actress. I was the milkmaid and he was the back end of Daisy the Skating Cow. I had to squeeze his udders twice a night. Jim, are you seriously telling me that the world's funniest man... Tell him you said that. I'll make his day. But, 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 but this is... Casey, what a wonder you are. What a wonder I am for hiring you. Jim, I knew when I first set eyes on you, Katie Andrews, you were made of the right stuff. Oh. Now, this is no longer some run-of-the-mill ribbon-cutting gig. This is a spectacular media happening. <laughs> I've got one thing to say to you, Katie Andrews. Well done, me. <laughs> got to move fast on this one. Nancy, it's me. Cancel your life. We've got work to do. The only house I know where you got to wipe your feet on the way out. <laughs> what was all that banging last night? Oh, sorry, Katie. 
was the Angelo patent pending Geronimo Snaffler. Did it work? Not exactly, no. It went berserk and snaffled me instead. You mean that pesky thing's still in the loose? Yeah. Oh, it's got to be somewhere. Let's face it, everything's got to be somewhere. Gotcha! Oh, that'll be Mickey. Tell her it's good news. Oh. Tell her we've got him cornered. Right. Mr. Bamber! Katie, hi. Not too early, am I? Good. Come on through. Thank you. So, who's been a busy little beaver then? You? Me and the guys from marketing oh. up all night. When I told them who we got, they couldn't believe it. Jim Carrey, they said. We love Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's everyone's hero. When word gets out that Jim Carrey's in town, Jim Carrey's gonna be on everyone's lips. Jim Carrey, they'll cry. Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey. Did you say Jim Carrey? At least your peepers on this little lot. The I Heart Jim t-shirt. 10,000 of these rolling off the presses as we speak. Here. Yours. So, where is he? Who? Ah, you're a funny girl. <laughs> you make me laugh. No wonder you're Jim's best buddy. Best buddy? <laughs> Jim Carrey, the back end of a pantomime car. Who'd have believed it? Oh, that wasn't Jim. That was Jim. Hmm? Oh, nothing, nothing. So, when does he get in? Who? Jim Carrey, Hollywood superstar. What time does he arrive? Oh, uh, you know, Mr. Bamber, um, I've been having second thoughts about this Jim, 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 Jim Carrey thing and him. Uh, I don't know if it's such a great idea. Are you insane? <laughs> he's a funny, funny guy. What's the problem? The problem is he's a funny, funny guy. That's the problem. He's, he's too funny. He's too funny? All Jim Carrey has to do is flare his nostrils and folks start laughing. I mean, a 20-minute supermarket opening that could go on for days. Perfect. Pardon? Yeah, now you're thinking like a real PR hotshot. This is exactly what we're after. Anarchy is publicity. This idea just gets better and better. I really feel we should think again, Mr. Bamber. What are you saying? You're saying my Jim Carrey idea sucks? No, 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 not at all. Absolutely not. There's going to be thousands of people there. Can't you just picture it? Only too well. Well then, Oop, that'll be the TV people. <laughs> Bamber. Come on, Jim Ronnie Mo. You don't want Mickey to be the only one there without a pet, do you? Yes. <laughs> oh. My terrible, horrible mess. It's a complete and utter disaster. Something's wrong, isn't it? I can tell. Oh, no, everything's just fine. What is it? My boss, Tony Bamber, has got this mad idea that I've persuaded Jim Carrey to open a supermarket. Jim Carrey's going to open a supermarket? Oh, I'm there. I'm going to tell everybody about this. No, Scudderlugs, listen. It's all a hideous mistake. Do you mean he's not coming? No. Oh, I've been looking forward to that for seconds. Oh, please, please don't. When Jim Carrey doesn't turn up this morning and Farmer Guthrie, the porker's friend, rolls up instead, my career is mincemeat. What am I going to do? I think you know the answer to that one, Katie. Go and tell him he's made a boo-boo. No, 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 you can't do that. I'll give you the sack. No, there's only one solution for it. Oh, yeah? What's that? No! I'd do a wicked Ace Ventura. A thousand times no! Give me one good reason why not. Um, let's start with nobody will believe it. All right. All right. I'll show you. <laughs> Ace Ventura at your service, ma'am. Hey, lost your llama mama? <laughs> Misplaced your macama? <laughs> Skunked in a bank? Tell me, is it Tuesday or did I just sneeze? <laughs> that fooled you, didn't it? Because I'm a wacky guy. There he is. Oh, Jim. Tony. Jim Carrey just called me Tony. I think I've died and gone to Sunset Boulevard. Jim, I'm honored. Put it there. I surely will. <laughs> Hey, you can make my own personal walk around ear warmer. Tell me, Tom, that ceiling, do you get it? Hmm? Because it's way over my head. <laughs> hey, let me just get right on this chair here. We can go skiing. <laughs> Jim, Jim, I don't know how to thank you. You don't? Hey, Tom, it's easy. First, you start with a th. Then you move on to the ank. Ank, 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 ank. Then comes the hard bit, the grand finale. You! Did you get that? Would you like me to do it again? You! You! Now, let's put it all together. Da, 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 da. Ank, 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 ank. You! 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 You see, it ain't so hard. <gasps> Jim, you are a funny man. Oh, Jesus, Toad, you got me blushing now. Um, 
Jem, a little word? Oh, certainly. How about it or two? <laughs> They're little words. Ah, oh, little words. Hmm. Take your pick. Come here. <laughs> Katie, is a scream? Definitely. <laughs> or be, or buy, or low, oh. or no, or po, oh. or go, or ah. Uh-huh. Ah, words don't come littler than <laughs> ah. Oh, no. Stay back, folks. This is no ordinary pineapple. No, this is a grenade disguised as a pineapple. And somebody's pulled the pin. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Just pretend to be Jem Katie. But Katie, it's working. You're oh. boss thinks I'm him. Why shouldn't other hymns think I'm him? That's him as in Jim. <laughs> or indeed hers. Katie, we can pull this off. Piece of paella. No, wait a minute. Look, your boss wants Jim. Your client wants Jim. Everybody wants Jim. So what are we going to give them, eh? Had it balls? And if you all find out, then what? Look, if Jim doesn't show, they'll find out anyway. Your boss's client will think your boss is an idiot. Your client's boss will think your client's an idiot. Your boss will think his client's boss is an idiot for calling your boss an idiot. That's a lot of idiots, and they'll all be blaming you, Katie Andrews. Oh, you just want to get up there and show off. Katie, how could you think that? Right! Into the valley of chaos, go I. Uh, Jim, oh. I forgot your fee. Ah, oh, fee by bo bum. Forget your fee. Wave your fee. <laughs> Because I am a swell guy. <laughs> <laughs> what a star. Shall we shake? Oh, sure. Me first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 hey, listen. I got a fly. I got a B, else. <laughs> Where? <laughs> he cracks me up, that man. Oh, I know the feeling. <laughs> Love you, Oh, thanks. Just a little something I threw myself into. <laughs> Any luck with Geronimo? Gee, he's in there. In the toaster? Now we're in the hole behind the toaster. Oh. Look, Geronimo. Look what I've got. Marsh and marshmallows. <laughs> Woohoo! Scrummy doodle delish. Come and get it. Now, doesn't that smell good? <laughs> Very serious situation. <laughs> oh, it's been a bit of a mix-up. I'm afraid. <laughs> did ask for that. Oh, sorry, Katie, you were saying? You've proved me wrong, Angelo. Maybe this thing could work and get us all out of a very embarrassing situation. What situation? Beep. Pardon? Oh, don't worry, Katie. I won't let you down. Beep. Beep. Are you all right? Beep. Beep. Oh, heck. Heck? Oh, what's this heck? What's happening? Whoops! Whoops and heck. I don't like the sound of that. <gasps> what's that? Teeny problem, Ed. Oh, I appear to be turning into a space gerbil. Angelo, I'm not laughing. Well, luckily the effects are reasonably, um, you know, what's the word? Um, uh, <laughs> 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 Angelo, please tell me this is you being Jim Carrey being wacky. I'm sorry, Katie. Look, don't worry. The effects are, you know, reasonably, uh, I'll wear off sooner or later. <laughs> uh, more likely later. <laughs> oh! Am I missing something? <laughs> OK, Jim, time to get going? Oh, Katie, by the way. Yes, Mr Bamber? Oh, Tony, please call me Tony. Oh, yes, Tony. I was on the phone there to my partners. We think you deserve a big fat rise for this. Oh, no, I couldn't accept that, really. Nonsense. You will accept it because that's what I want. Mm. And we're going to get you a new office on the fourth floor. This one will have a desk. I'm very grateful, but honestly... I'm... OK, Jim, let's hit the highway. <laughs> I'm convinced you're a funny, funny, funny guy. But can we just lose the pink rabbit suit and get going? He's not a rabbit, he's a gerbil. Yeah, well, pardon me, I'm sure. What she means is that... No, um, look, gerbil, muskrat, rabbit, whatever. Look, I think you'd be better off without it, yeah? <laughs> Jim, really, it's really funny. Gerbil suit. But the uh, thing is, Jim, we can't see your face. We have to see your face. Yeah, it's a great face. Why hide it? <laughs> a word, Miss Andrews. Katie, call me Katie. He seems to be very attached to the pink hair. You have no idea how true that is. Yeah, but don't get me wrong, I think this gerbil thing's hilarious. <laughs> it's just that it could be anyone under there. It could be Jim Carey or the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> You're his friend, Katie. You talk to him. Marshmallows! 
<laughs> I'm in stitches, Jim. You are a riot. <laughs> Would you please get him off me? Oh, I don't know what to say anymore. OK, now what's going on round here? OK, the truth. He's promoting his new film. Huh? You know, the new film. Called, I um, was a teenage marshmallow versus the turn up men from Taiwan. That's it. And he says that either he pays as a gerbil or the deal's off. <laughs> no, 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 please, Jim, no, you can't do this to me. They'll kill me if they can't see it's you. Please, please. Go on, maybe just a little peek. Perhaps if we took off your nose. <laughs> Where did he go? Jim! Jim! Jim, my man! Jim! Who's Angelo? Angelo is the name of the gerbil from the movie as played by Jimmy takes his part very, very seriously. Oh, come on, Jim! <laughs> what are you doing in there? He's upset. Upset? Why? He pulled his nose. Oh, goodness, yeah, I remember one night during Puss in Boots it was. The fairy godmother flew down and tapped him on the nose with her magic wand. He wouldn't come out of his dressing room for three whole days. <laughs> we haven't got that long. The supermarket opens in 40 minutes. For heaven's sake, Jim! He... Oh. I'm sorry I pulled your nose. Too late, Mr. Bamber. The damage is done. What? Mm. Katie, help! you got to help me. Tell me, what am I going to do? What am I do? Tell me what to do! All right, Tony, calm down. I thought something like this might just happen. You did? Yes, I did. In this business, you have to expect the unexpected. So, luckily, I have tucked up my sleeve. Plan B. Plan B? Mm. What is that? Hope? Oh, I love this girl. <laughs> oh, Plan B. Oh, yes. I am. Um, took it upon myself to book another famous celebrity as backup. You did? Mm -hmm. oh, she's going all the way to the top, this girl. <laughs> so who's the big name? Who's the celeb? Farmer Gothy. Great. Who? Farmer Gothy. The pig farmer from Brambleberry Farm. He's incredibly popular. Him and his sidekick, Trotsky the Sow. The punters will go wild. Trust me. Well, at least it beats the pants off the invisible man. Exactly. <laughs> He's on his way there right now. If you hurry, you might just catch him. Oh, um, uh, Katie, uh, what does he look like, this farmer guy? Oh, just follow the pong. You can't miss him. <laughs> right. Katie, I... <laughs> oh, well, that takes care of that. I wonder what happened to Geronimo. Oh, Geronimo schmeronimo. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, that's great, Mr Bamber. I'm glad to hear it. And how was Trotsky the sow? Oh, all over those nice new shoes. Still, I'm sure it brought the house down, eh? Yes, yes, it was a good idea. Sorry, a stupendous idea. Yeah, definitely. Well done, you. Bye. Ta-da! Guess what? Um, tricky. You won the cup. We won the cup. <laughs> she means I won the cup. Oh, sorry, Angelo. You won the cup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's very pleased. No, was my head teacher. Why? Your trombone blew him into the canal. Oh, oh dear. Let's have a peek. Dear Mrs. Forks Bentley, please would you contact me at your earliest convenience? A good afternoon. I'm dead. I'm on my way, Mrs. Fox Bentley. Kindly ensure that you're at home. <laughs> Frosty! <laughs> May I call you Froster? I'd rather you didn't. How's it going? Putty! In my hands. 